Hi YouTube, it's Strawberry Bennies. Today we are going over a humongous Loungefly Disney Parks collection. So let's get started. Hello YouTube, it is Strawberry Bennies. Today we are going over a Disney Parks Loungefly collection. I have the Christmas ones as well as the unicorn bag, the 50th Disney World Loungefly, very bougie bag. So let's get started. Please like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, happy holidays, everybody. So the very first bag is this really cute bag that has gingerbread cookies on it, Mickey and Minnie, and it even has a little gingerbread ornament there of Mickey and Minnie on the zipper. This is the only one that isn't a Disney Parks bag, but I wore this in the Disney Parks this week and I got so many compliments. It was crazy. So I thought I'd put it in here. This you can still buy from Amazon for $120. This was the Loungefly bag that you could get off the Loungefly website last Christmas. So this is the bag that even does come with these ears that snap in the front. The bow is super sturdy and like a fake velvet. And this headband is so comfortable and looks way cute. One good thing about this bag is the color is eggnog. See how it's like a yellow white? That's really good because this bag stays really clean. So it has a front pocket that you can put your ears or other things. This is what the inside of the bag looks like. It does have a zipper, but the inside is a ugly Christmas sweater, blue with Mickey, Minnie, and snowflakes, and red and green frosting. So this was the first bag. So let's move on. This is the Disney Parks Christmas bag this year. This bag is Mickey and Minnie, and they are in the Swiss Alps or in Colorado, as I say, because that is where I'm from. But here they are in the little ski lift, the gondola, and they're skiing over this town that says the Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse Ski Lifts. There's even smoke. If you look closely, I don't know if you can see it. See these right here? These are little snowflakes all throughout the bag which are textured, 3D textured, and so are the little lights around the gondola. Those are also 3D. And see, there's the Disney Parks little logo, and the back of the purse has Pluto, and he's supposed to be St. Bernard with hot chocolate. It does have side pockets. It does not have an inside pocket. All of these bags that I got in the Disney park this side, this time did not have a side pocket, which is really interesting because usually the Hot Topics bag had a pocket not inside, just the Disney parks. So now it's like they're switching them all to not have a pocket on the inside. The inside is the most boring bag I have. It is just this pretty dark red. Usually they have a cute pattern. So this was the bag. I also got another bag, which was completely sold out in the parks that I had to order online and it's still being shipped from the Disney store. So I will put that in a different video, but it is the Disney park, I'll put an image of it right here, of the Christmas snacks. So yeah, the next bag is the Baby Yoda bag. So his hands can hang out here on the side pocket. You can hang a keychain or a hand sanitizer from the little clasps there. The cool thing about his ears are that you can move them, adjust them to whatever way you want. And it's supposed to look like he's in the pram with the Mandalorian. This down here just looks cool and steampunky. The bag is actually cloth, but on the back is the fake leather. The inside is so cute. So, so cute. Like, look at this. Look how cute that is. It is Baby Yoda along with the 
Santa Antha, I think is how you say it. The little fuzzy yak guy. And there is the frogs, the one-eyed frog that Baby Yoda eats. This bag did not have a inside pocket as well. So the next bag is, oh yeah, and with that Christmas Mickey and Minnie ski bag, I actually also got the pin. So here they are skiing. It's kind of 3D textured. It's quite big. Beautiful. This was only in the um, World of Disney store in Disney Springs. So the next bag, the second in this series, this is the Scents bag. So this is all popcorn Mickeys. And they're all rainbow popcorn Mickey buckets. And the most popular Mickey bucket color is the red. And you can see the popcorn pop popping out there. And it is a scent. I haven't used this bag because it's white. So I know I'm going to get it filthy. This was $85 in the park. The smell, this side pocket here, you can smell really well in the front pocket is a caramel popcorn, not like the buttery pop secret popcorn they have in the park. The inside of the purse is stripes with Mickey balloons. And this one does not have a pocket either. It does have the side pockets, which are super cute. Now, the last bag the creme de la creme bougie bag of all time. The 50th Disney World bag. So here we have Cinderella's Castle with 24 karat gold flex in the 50th with like black marble. It has 24 karat gold accent on the zipper and the ears. This is also really sturdy. And unlike the other bags, this is all genuine leather not fake like pleather. One cool thing about the pockets is, I don't know if you could see that, but see how it closes? There's actually magnets on both sides of the pocket to help it stay closed. It has this really big roomy front pocket, which I still have closed with the plastic foam thing you got, but super cute. The pattern as well is the Cinderella Castle with the 50th and how they did the numbering of the 50th, it looks like little Mickey heads as well. Here's the back. One cool thing also about the straps is the hardware is 24 karat gold, like I said, plated, but these are actually heavier, like clasps, than the regular lounge fly. The inside is really pretty. It is black and it says the 50th, no inside pocket. And then I did have the tag I came with this, genuine leather. This bag is really expensive. This bag was $298. With tax and everything, it was like three seventeen. But yeah, super fun. But please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. I like to talk to everybody on my channel. All right, bye.